the Cortec Reviews. Perplexity 4, I'm your guy. Hey, I'm late. I know I'm late, but I must say, this is some great news I'm going to throw on the pipes. You guys probably heard some of it, you probably heard none of it, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Net neutrality, first and foremost, done, finished. It's been scrapped, it's over with. According to Forbes, the government has said, we're not going to try to put our yoke, we're not going to try to put our stronghold on what the consumers want to use as far as their internet needs. And that's a big plus, that's a blessing. Because we're paying money, why should we have their input anyway? Why should they put us in a sector on what we can use as far as what we trying to you know, have as far as our internet output? We're paying money, and we're paying whatever the companies require for whatever gigs or certain amount of usage, so we should be able to use what we pay for. Not have the government come in and say, well, you still pay the same amount, but we're going to give you less speed, or we're going to give you more speed, or we're going to give this particular company more speed than this company. And it was very complex, but it's over with. Big plus. The government is moving in the right direction. Thank God. For the first time since 1990, we're in a stage where, you know, there won't be any governmental input on what we use as far as our internet needs. Big plus. Number two. Time Warner has been purchased. By AT&T? That's crazy. I've been talking about this all year. But they've just been trying to get all the kinks and get all the knots out of the you know, negotiations. But they finally came to a handshake. It's over with. What does this mean for us, though? For AT&T subscribers, happy days. Probably going to have much more content as far as streaming, cable, and everything else. Satellite usage, everything. Even it's probably going to affect our mobile service as well. Are the prices going to go up? Probably, probably not, because they don't want to lose consumers, so they know if they go up too high, they end up losing the consumers. But, my option two, hey, when you monopolize, you know there's not a lot of options out there for consumers. So you can charge us whatever you want to charge us, because there's not a lot of competition out there. So, it's a gift and a curse right now. Let's wait and see. But as of right now, Plex is one of the women saying there's going to be some good things happening. <sighs> Three. Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. We're able to stream games now on Netflix. Coming soon. They just made the announcement. That's crazy. That's great. That's so crazy. Streaming games on Netflix. Netflix is already a multi billion dollar company. They have an umpteen amount of financial tools and software tools to give us all the latest content, all the coolest games. They have great streaming and bandwidth, everything. Netflix is amazing. I know this is going to be awesome, and they're probably going to be dirt cheap because Netflix is dirt cheap anyway. I mean, probably for $15, you're probably going to be able to stream whatever you want to stream. That's, that's going to hurt Sony because they got the PlayStation Now service, and that's what they're doing right now. But speaking of PlayStation Now service, last but not least, speaking of PlayStation Now service, they have added a download option to the streaming. You hit the pause button. You can go and download games now. I heard rumors about it being in beta. Who cares? That means it's coming down the pipes, though. That is crazy. So no longer are we going to have problems with, you know, streaming and the screen breakage and, and frame rate and, and all these crazy things that we have to deal with with your internet connection. Now we're going to, and they have like 600 plus games on the PlayStation Now service. So being able to download all those games. That's epic, man. That's epic, man. That's so epic, dude. How is it going to affect Gamefly? You might have to buy Gamefly. Somebody's going to acquire Gamefly because they're not going to be able to compete. Oh, this is crazy, y'all. I want y'all to soak that up and tell me what you think in the comments section. But it's your boy for Plex. I love you guys. Don't unsubscribe me. Subscribe, you boy. Spread it. YouTube, Twitter, whatever. I'm out.